world has ever had. Consequences of their actions. Marcus, John Wick's best friend died because he failed to accomplish his mission. Assigned to him by Vigo which consist of killing John Wick. He accepted this mission because he knew his friend's life was in danger. He knew if he refused this mission, another assassin would have accepted Vigo's proposal. Another act which had some repercussions was when John Wick refused to pay his debt to Santinio D'Antonio. He told Santinio he was not to live that life anymore, but Santinio took it bad. Out of anger he later exploded John Wick's house which nearly killed the protagonist. In addition to that he paid a prime for John Wick excommunication. As the movie continue we can see to what extent Vigo's son Losef Tarasov is ignorant. He beat up John Wick in his house and killed his dog, the only gift left to him by his wife, not knowing he attacked the devil himself. Without compromising, John Wick decides to take his revenge, and he killed Vigo's only child Losef Tarasov. To proceed we see how some people betrayed John Wick in the movie, especially Santinio D'Antonio. After John Wick complete his mission, it seems like Santinio ordered his guards to kill John Wick. But not surprising, we all know how John Wick is fantastic, he gradually killed all of Santinio's guard men. In this scene we could believe that John Wick was prepared for this. It seems like he knew his life was in danger. We experienced the act of betrayal and because of this Santinio became John Wick's prey and as a result he was killed. Personally I had pity for all those who thought they could kill John Wick so easily. In this scene we see how powerful John Wick is, and his ability to easily kill his opponents with a well precede shot. As we all know, the rule clearly stated that no business is done inside of the Continental Hotel. But Ms. Perkins tragically died because she went against that rule. She tried to kill John Wick when she heard of the prime $2 million on John Wick's head. In addition to that not targeting only John she also killed another man in the hotel. While waiting outside, Karen told her she was called by Winston. Winston told her that her membership of the Continental was revoked because she went against the rules governing the hotel. Perkins was then executed by four of Winston henchmen each giving a gunshot. At the end of John Wick 2 we see the Bowery King who gave John Wick a gun with seven bullets to kill Santinio D'Antonio. He knew that what he did would have negative effects on him. In the opening scene of John Wick 3 we see the great adjudicator who punished the Bowery King by giving him seven days to close up the soup kitchen. In the whole of season 1 and 2 we saw John Wick been excommunicated three times first by Vigo, followed by Santinio D'Antonio and lastly by Winston after killing Santinio in the Continental Ground.